So usually for a big trailer like this, I would do a reaction to it, but I've seen it already without doing any reaction. I just had to see it and I had no time to do a reaction. So I was like, yeah, I just want to talk about it anyways. So yeah, here we go. And for Spider-Man Far From Home, I've been like kind of honest and about it, it, that for the MCU, I wanted them to take a break from putting out a movie, from releasing a movie uh after endgame maybe like a like wait a year after endgame but we have far from home coming out in july or june i forget what month so i was kind of like put off by that because i was like oh can we have a break but yeah with this trailer from spider-man far from home the second trailer yeah i think it got me more on board i think it looks good i mean the first trailer was good and yeah but even so i wanted it to like i wanted them to wait a year before we got another mcu movie but we're going to get one, though, and from this trailer, I'm happy we're going to get one, but we do get a spoiler warning at the start of the trailer. Tom Holland's like, yeah, don't watch this trailer if you've not seen Endgame. Then they get to a spoiler right away with Spider-Man, Peter, kind of reminiscing about uh, Tony, of course, dying in Endgame, of course, and then um, seeing the murals up there and saying taking up his mantle is kind of like tough for him. He doesn't want to like kind of do it. And then they go to like him and Happy reminiscing about him also. And Happy says if he would have done or if he like him doing the thing he did him sacrifice himself. He wouldn't do that if he knew that there wasn't somebody to take his place. And yeah, I think Happy it really shows a good point in that conversation. And you really see the emotions from their like characters. I thought that was good. Like they're pro it was probably good acting in that scene. You can't really say it since he's like I haven't seen the movie, but. Overall, I can see like the face from Peter. It's just like, yeah, still kind of tormented from that. And seeing his idol, pretty much his idol, his father figure die, of course, right in front of him, which, yeah, that sucked for him. But then we go to an action scene with the iron spider suit. So he's going to still be in the spider iron spider suit, at least for the start of this movie. So it looks like he's going to be in like three sort of costumes, I think. I don't know if he's going to take like the regular Spider-Man suit. Or he's gonna, if he's going to still be in that one. But I know he's going to be in like the bl the black one also later. And so, yeah, it looks like he's going to have multiple Spider-Man suits in this movie. Which he kind of did in the first movie. So, yeah, it wouldn't be too different. He had the, like, the his first original one was kind of like the, uh, really, like, uh, not, not the greatest. But it was kind of like the one he created before, like, Tony gave him, like, handed him the one that he, the first one he created but yeah, but that's cool that we see the Iron, Iron Spider suit. Then it's like he's riffing with the cops. Cops ask him, are you going to be in the next Spider-Man? And he's like, no, I'm too busy doing your job. So I thought that was funny. We get like we go to like Europe, of course, because they're going to go to Europe in this movie. We see a scene kind of a funny scene. We see Flash get hit in the dick, which was like, OK, kind of random, but kind of funny. It's kind of like Flash it usually is like the bully, but. He's more going to be, I guess, someone who's probably going to be uh, maybe like bullied in this movie. Like the first movie, he's kind of like he's kind of he's not really a bully towards him, but he's kind of like a more of a verbal bully, kind of like uh, like saying shit to him, of course. But of course, he likes Spider-Man. So that's the thing. Like that's the thing about Flash Thompson. Like Spider-Man doesn't really care for Peter that much. So later on the trailer, we get Nick Fury introducing Spider-Man to Quentin Beck, a.k.a. Mysterio, a.k.a. Jake Gyllenhaal and this is an interesting moment in the trailer trailer because this is where he reveals that he's from a like another reality and they do reveal the multiverse in this in this trailer for Spider-Man which is is fascinating and it comes from the snap of course because the snap like the snap opened up other realities so I, I really like that and it's like it's gonna be uh fascinating where it's gonna come how that's gonna come into play in the later movies of course but it's definitely fascinating how it's going to come into play in here. As far as Mysterio, yeah, he they kind of portray him more as a hero in this. I mean, we kind of think he's got to be a villain because he's a villain in the Spider-Man comics. And he's always been a villain. So I'm like thinking he's got to be a villain for sure. But the way they the way they put him in, in this trailer, they really, I, I, they really did a good job in convincing, I think, me that he maybe he could be a good guy but i don't know i, I kind of i still have my money on him being a villain in this movie but for this trailer it looks like they're trying to play him up in like a hero role of course and the fishbowl the fishbowl is um they, they actually make the fishbowl look pretty cool in the trailer too 
So yeah, so yeah, I kind of hope he's a villain though because yeah, the elementals. I don't think they're gonna do it for me because they're like they're cool looking, but I don't just I just don't think they're gonna have. Are they gonna have any speaking roles in the movie? Because I'm really like not too familiar familiar with the elementals, but I yeah I don't know. They look they look uh, like uh, very uh, like they look very intimidating, but it just like. I think it'd be something from Mysterio, of course, because they're like creating a lot of havoc too around Europe. So that's gonna be also an interesting thing. But yeah, but for the elementals, are they gonna have a like? Are they gonna be like a, a good villain at all? Because I hope so. If Mysterio isn't the villain, but I still say Mysterio is gonna be the villain in this movie. And of course, Peter has doubts about like taking up at this like a little mission they're on. It's more of like a Oh, this is almost like a spy film, of course. That's what it like kind of feels like from the trailer. But yeah, but Peter not really like, thrilled about taking up this mission, of course, and taking over for like a uh, Tony, of course. And he says he's not ready, and he's like saying, "Can we get Captain Marvel, Thor, like on this <laughs> and all?" And Nick Fury is not really like taking it at all. He's like, you "Bitch, please, you've been the space," which I think is a cool line. I got like a that's a very Sam Jackson <laughs> line in this spot. I really like that. So yeah, so that's cool. You got MJ, of course. MJ, there's that little scene near the end where she's kind of like, you kind of think maybe she's figured out like she he's Spider-Man, but I don't really th think they would put that in the trailer if he or she really knew. But it seemed like the, like the way she was speaking made it feel like, okay, maybe she does know he's Spider-Man now. But yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I hope they wouldn't put that in the trailer though. But yeah, that's interesting. And for MJ... I like um that um Zendaya is playing her, of course. But I think one of my complaints about like the first like the Spider-Man Homecoming is that they didn't go all in on MJ and because her name was Michelle throughout the movie, and then at the end of the movie she says, "Oh, my friends, my other friends call me MJ," and I was like, "Okay, go either go go all in or not." I I like Zendaya playing Mary Jane. I would like that. I just wish they went all in and actually called her Mary Jane instead of just calling her MJ, which is like abbreviation for Michelle Jordan, I think. So, yeah. So, yeah. But I do like Zendaya in the movie. Hopefully, she has a good role in this one. It seems like she's going to have a more of a bigger role in this one than she did in the first one. And, of course, there's another subtle uh, scene in this trailer with Peter playing with the hologram tech and using it. You got Happy going in. And Happy's almost kind of reminiscing also at this point, too. Kind of like, he's probably thinking back, of course, to Tony using the hologram tech, which I think, yeah, it might, it, that's a subtle, like, little scene in the trailer, but I think it's probably going to be uh, pretty big when the movie is out, and I think it might, may be, a, it may be an emotional scene in the movie, and of course, happy at the end with, like, the Peter's friends, of course, when the jet blows up, and he's like, yeah, yeah, let's go get on the jet, and then, of course, it blows up, of course, and he's like, damn it, <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, that's the trailer for you, Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. I do like it. I am excited for the movie. More excited than I was before. And I still kind of, I still in the back of my mind, I was kind of like hoping that they wouldn't release another MCU film until like a year from now. But yeah, whatever. I think people are going to want this. And I think it's probably a good movie to get us out from like the, maybe the emotional uh, moments from Endgame. And this one's probably going to be a good follow-up for Avengers Endgame so yeah so tell me what you thought about this trailer here for Spider-Man Far From Home are you looking forward to this is it a good movie is it a good move put this out right after Endgame so yeah so tell me down below and check out my channel for more I guess stuff like this I did review uh last night's episode of Game of Thrones and I did not talk about the Starbucks cup though so I didn't talk about that in the trailer in the in the in the um in this episode but yeah check out my uh review of last night's episode right after this on the outro so yeah so until next time folks i'll see you guys later i am out